Hi guys, my name is Andy and uh, I'm here today and I'm going to be doing a review. Uh, do something to top it about, change it up, you know what I mean? I'm going to be doing a review of a white rum today guys, and that is Banks Five Island Rum. Now, Banks Five Island Rum, like I said, um, pretty much, it's, uh, you know, been, a, been out for a little while and it's been pretty popular and... Um, you know, when, the, when I can remember trying it at the Rum Fest a good few years back and being wowed by it, thinking, wow, that's a white rum with those sort of flavour elements in it. It really took me by surprise. So today I'm going to be doing a review of this. Now I'm going to give you a little bit about the mission statement of, of uh, Banks, the producers of Banks. And they say that they have uh, were inspired and they've named the, the drink after... Sir Joseph Banks and his incredible journeys and discoveries and that it's their mission to find and share treasures following in his footsteps and to uncover exceptional rums to share with all rum lovers. Now, bloody good mission statement. That, I like that. That's, you know, you can't knock it, can you? Now, I'm going to give you a I'm not going to go into lots of history on this one. I'm just going to give you a little bit background about Sir Joseph Banks, who he was. And um, basically, Sir Joseph Banks was a British explorer, botanist and naturalist. And it, he was one of the great men of his age. He was classed as one of the great men of his age. Uh, he was long-time president of the Royal Society. Uh, he steered the course of British science for the first part of the 19th century. And... His most epic voyage was uh, of discovery was in 1768 when the Endeavour embarked on an epic voyage of discovery with Sir Joseph Banks and Captain Cook at the helm. So it's a little bit about the, the intrepid guy who uh, Banks have sort of been inspired by. Um, Banks rum producers, they say that their, their rum is different than other rums in the respect of their blends are uniquely dry and um, flavorful and that they are intriguingly complex and that every sip delivers a distinctive flavors and aroma so this rum itself um, is a blend of barrel aged rums uh, there's pot stilled rum uh, Jamaican rums and Trinidadian rums there's uh, amber rums from Guyana and Barbados and there's Batavia Arak. Now Batavia Arak is from Indonesia and uh, you know it's um, one of the earliest forms of uh, alcohol and was predates any thing that was even before it was even being produced in the Caribbean. Um, back in 18th century London uh, Batavia Arak was cause, cause, was considered um, a better product than Caribbean rum at that time. So um, you know this company, their banks, they're bringing um, rum from Indonesia and you know mixing it up with some Caribbean rums and putting a little bit of a different element and edge to the to the product, which it's got to be a good thing, isn't it? You know. Um, I'm going to pour a glass now and we'll have a little delve into it a little bit deeper as they say. Now, just pour that a minute. Like I said, you know, bottle wise, nice shaped bottle, you know, and uh, labelled up pretty nice and tells you all about the different blend of rums in it on the front there. Um, pleasant enough um, bottling. Now, I'm going to take a little smell of this and see what it, what comes of it. I've had a little bit beforehand. Um, first of all, you take a sip the smell of that and Jamaican pot still rum, it, it does, you get that initial aroma of the molasses and of, of a pot still rum. But almost immediately, it goes from intense floral notes come out. It really does very floral and uh, citrus, a little citrus, little citrus elements there. There's lime, lemongrass, ginger you can smell for sure. 
it's very fragrant it's lovely I, I love it and you know we'll take a little sip now my first thing when you um sip this rum like i said you get that sort of jamaican pot still rum more heavier rum on the flavor but it's, it goes straight to a lovely floral grassy notes that come out It's really gorgeous. There's banana you get. You get certainly get tropical fruit in there. There's banana. There's pineapple. Pepper on the tongue now tingling. Um, oh, it's, it's really, really nice. I, I, I really do uh, think it's a well put together um, rum. I, you know, I'm not into drinking little white rums neat, not normally. And... Um, this is certainly one that you could sit and sip, uh, you know, or make an absolute spanking cocktail with this, you know, something a little bit different. Um, I'm going to go for the finish now. Now, I'd say the finish on this is a light oaken. peppery fade it's really nice pleasant even got a little I got a little twang of licorice in there then at the back there it's really nice it's a great 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 rum um, price wise you can pick this up for um, I've looked around and the best price I could find at the moment is about 38 pound on the masses of malt um, you know I, I try my best when I'm when I do the rum reviews it's about trying to direct people to where they can get it for the best price. Uh, you know, I have no affiliation with anybody online. So if I mention somebody's name, it's purely because it's where the best price I could find by searching online. Okay. Um, other than that, like I said, certainly worth a pop. Lovely white rum. Very fragrant floral. My name's Andy. Uh, the next, I will be doing, the next rum review I will be doing will be absolutely amazing looking rum i'm looking forward to reviewing it it's rum nation barbados 12 anniversary edition and i shall be tasting that tonight when i sit and relax and the review will be coming very shortly okay so my name is andy and until next time enjoy